Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a video on the K Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker. So this coffee maker was just released by Keurig. I've been playing around with it for a while and I came across the Wi-Fi not working and some other viewers have had a problem with unable to connect your tablet or phone to the coffee maker and I just ran across that problem. So I'm gonna show you how I was able to fix um, your tablet not connecting to the Wi-Fi. So I've got several other videos out on this coffee maker. So this video is mainly going to deal with if you have a tablet or a phone and you've got the Keurig app and it's not connecting to your coffee maker. So the first thing I want you want to do is this is the manual that comes with the coffee maker. Go to Keurig's website and download the user and care guide. I don't know why these are different. This has got a lot more information in it. It seems to me that this should all be in this manual, but this is just a very limited manual. Okay, so go to the Keurig website, and it's a little tricky to find, but if you scroll down, so you see product details, click see more, and now when you scroll down, there it is right there, there's a little link. You click on that, it's a PDF, and you can download it. But it's got so much more information on it. I would print that off. You're going to probably need to be using that. Okay, so let's just go over some standard things. So this thing does not have a power switch. You just got to press any button or lift the handle. So just press the K button and it will turn the power on. So my problem is earlier I had connected this, this to Wi-Fi with another tablet. Um, you can do it with your smartphone too. But that tablet has since I cracked the screen and had to send it into Samsung. So I've got this replacement tablet. And so I... I opened up the app and it's not connecting to this even though this one is still showing the Wi-Fi but there's some there's some settings that we don't know about when we press these two buttons here we're, we'll get into some setting modes okay so if we hold these two arrow with it with with it powered on and we're not gonna have a cake up in for this duration let it go through its brew ID but we're gonna hold these two power these two arrow buttons at the same time so press them down now we're in a settings menu. There is no like menu button. Now we can scroll through these. See how these are lit up? If we want to go to the next, there's the, there's the Wi-Fi, high altitude, language, water filter reminder on and off, brew info, there's my brew info, support, factory reset, and I'm back to settings. So when I'm in the settings mode, then it, this, it says exit. So if I press this, I'll exit and go back to I'm ready to brew. So again, let's go into those special menu settings. You don't have to press them very long. It comes up right away. So it says press K to forget. I don't know that I want to do that yet. Well, that's all I pretty much can do, it looks like. I can do a factory reset. So let me show you what was happening on my tablet. Okay, so on my tablet or smartphone, when you click the Keurig button, you'll first have to log in. With the, You do have to create a user ID and log in to the Keurig website. Okay, so when you first open up your app, it'll say get connected. It's going to want you to scan the QR code on the back, and you're going to have to use your camera on your phone or tablet. So get started. So we go. We got to go scan that. Okay, so there's the QR code. When you click that, you need to get that so that it is centered. You want as much of it in there as possible. There. I was trying to do it too far away one time and it wouldn't work. Okay, so it says make sure your brewer's plugged in. Follow the prompts on your screen until you see waiting for a connection on the screen. Tap link. So, if you already had your brewer connected to Wi-Fi. See, mine was already connected to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go in there and forget those Wi-Fi settings. So let's press those buttons. Again, those two buttons. Let's go over to next. Let's go to Wi-Fi. Press the K button to forget. I want to forget that Wi-Fi. I want to set this up again. So forget network. Hit this little button to scroll over. So yes is highlighted. Press K to confirm. Your Wi-Fi network has been forgotten. Use the app to reconnect. Okay. Now it says not connected. Press K to connect. Check your Keurig app. 
All right, so I either got to reconnect, waiting for connections. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here to my app and hit link. Linking browser, device, there's where it says that's the device, hit connect. It's obtaining an IP address. This is still saying that. This does take a while, so give this a minute to do this, to do its job here. I have noticed this takes a little bit when I did it last time. Okay, so it says it's loading available networks. I'm going to click the one that I've got this tablet connected to. I've got a guest and some other things, but make sure your phone or your tablet is connected. You've got to enter your passcode. So this is your Wi-Fi passcode. You're almost there. This still says waiting for connection. And then we're still waiting. You're almost done. I do notice this takes a little bit. This takes a little bit of time too. And what's happening here? I think your tablet's going to disconnect from. So this thing has like a Wi-Fi that it's putting out. It's going to connect to its Wi-Fi, and then it has to disconnect and connect to back to your normal Wi-Fi. So it does say or, uh, success. I have an extended warranty for 12 more months. So I got a, a warranty for 20 for 24 months because I just connected it to Wi-Fi. This over here says continue. And then I'm going to click OK. And it just walks you through some how to use the how to use it. OK, it's even got my name. Insert K pod or K cup. Looks like it's connected. OK, so I just want to verify. So my Wi-Fi light is on again. Let's put a K cup in. The best way to tell is this will sense what that is and then you should see it over here. Yeah, and I can tell right away that they're connected. So this sensed first that it was a Maxwell house. And then it gives me my recommended settings and I can just hit the K button. It says, check your mug and I'm glad I did. I don't have a mug underneath there. I, I do like that warning. It's caught me several times. Hit continue. And, and remote brew in progress. So now my tablet or phone is reconnected to the, um, the Wi-Fi. So I know some people have been having some problems of having their K Supreme connect to the Wi-Fi, connect to your tablet or smartphone. I hope this helps uh, by going in there and showing you how to do forget the Wi-Fi and kind of start all over. If you've got any questions, like something different happening to your K Supreme smart, leave them in the comments. I'll try to duplicate it and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. So there's a lot to this brewer. I've got a lot of videos to make. I've got to connect it to your smart device so you can lay in bed and tell it to brew, but I don't know that that's going to work. And I'm going to do a remote or um, the, uh, an auto brew in the morning, see how that works. This You can program this thing to start brewing in the morning, but I'm not sure how that works yet. So I'm going to do a video on that. I'm also going to be showing you how to descale it. I'll show you the high altitude settings, how to clean the needles. So again, mine connected. When I opened it up out of the box, it connected pretty easily, but I know some viewers have been having some problems. And I'm just thinking some of the problems might be that, you know, your tablet has to connect to this Wi-Fi for a little bit. Like this has a Wi-Fi that it transmits, but it's only transmitted for, so that you can connect it to the tablet and then it's going to connect to your, to your Wi-Fi, and then your tablet's got to reconnect to your Wi-Fi. So there's a lot going on here. And you might just have to go in and forget the setup that you did originally and start fresh again. And same with your app. So thanks everybody for watching. I am an Amazon affiliate now. If you do see a link in my show description notes and you click on that link, it is a way to support me. The products don't cost anymore, but I do get a little bit of money from that. I do buy all my own products with my own money. So thanks everybody for your support. Check out my Saturday morning coffee with dad. Um, this Saturday morning, I'm going to be doing a, uh, I'll be doing a comparison with the other two K Supremes. So I'll be doing a, a comparison with all three K Supremes. And we just kind of ask general questions. It's kind of a open, open book. You can ask what you want about cure eggs or coffee. So usually Saturday morning coffee with dad live stream. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could please like, and subscribe.